Show TV. I'm sitting here with Nathaniel Clam, one of the up and coming footballers of the moment. So, Nathaniel, just tell us a bit about yourself and how you got into it and how it started basically. Well, well, basically, um, I started off playing football when I was like eight. You know, my older brother, he was always into football. Mm -hmm. He started playing for my local team and uh, he suggested that I go play for like the young girl. Mm -hmm. And then I got into the team, it was called Accra, it was mm -hmm. just a local team around the corner. Um, Started playing for a couple of years and then I got scouted by Tottenham, which is a big achievement for me. And then I got in from Tottenham and now I'm at Crystal Palace. I mean, how are you finding being at Crystal Palace at the moment? Is it, is it hard? Is it a tough. You know, because some people go off footballers, they get paid this, they get paid that, but the sport is actually a really tough thing to, you know, to. Yeah, it, it is tough physically and mentally, you know. Um, when, when you've got your friends going out week in, week out, are asking you to come out and stuff, you know, it's demanding on you to say no and, you know, you've got football the next day, football training, you need to stay ahead of it, really. It's, it is quite tough when you get to... Yeah, he's sitting here with a glass of water <laughs> right now. <laughs> um, so, also, you've been obviously called up by England. I mean, that must be amazing, such a, you know, a good thing to have right now in your career. How was that for you as well? I was delighted. As soon as I got the call up, I was ringing up everyone, telling everyone how pleased I am and how happy I am and how delighted I am to get called up under 21. You know, it's a big achievement. Um, I've been with the young a lot, under 19s, etc. Yeah. And now I'm with the under 21s, and it's just an uphill task for them, really. I just want to continue. How is it like playing with them as well? Is it, you know, is it nerve wracking when you go? Um, of course it is. Um, a lot of them are big stars playing in the Premiership, and I'm just here playing in the Championship. Just but here. <laughs> I don't really look at it as that. I just look as that I'm, I'm good enough to play amongst them, so, uh, you know, I'm sure. I make a count for myself and I could play good as well as them. Okay, so what about your future with Crystal Palace? Do you see yourself with them, you know, for a while or have you got other, you know, teams in mind? Um, well, I've been playing with Crystal Palace for three seasons now. I've, you know, I've progressed as a player. Um, I'm looking to move on as such because, um, you know, I've got ambitions to play at the top, at the top level. I want to be winning trophies, etc. and playing at, against the biggest players in the world, really. Nice so where do you see yourself ultimately, like your main goal, what is, what, where's that? Um, playing in World Cups and playing in finals of the Champions League and competing in the Premiership and winning trophies really, that's what I want to do. Nice, and obviously we have the Olympics coming down next year as well, so what do you think about the, the British team for that? Um, I think it's a good idea, you know, um, not only English players will be playing, other, other countries like Scotland, you know, the whole yeah. Great Britain will be playing, so it should be a good thing. Um, it's under 23s, which gives the younger players a chance to show what, what they're capable of, and I think it's a good idea. Have you got a favourite player? My favourite player? Um, is probably the best player in the world. I, I reckon the best player in the world. A lot of people will agree, so I think Messi, you know, Messi. Messi. Yeah. Everyone's got to debate Messi, Ronaldo, but... Yeah, why Messi? <laughs> cool. Um, just going to talk about a bit about your team now. So who do you think is the fastest? Is the fastest. Yeah. <laughs> Can I include myself? Why not? <laughs> I reckon I'm the fastest, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice and humble. Um, the slowest? The slowest? Um, I'll probably say the skipper, Paddy McCarthy, I'll say he's the slowest. And who takes longest in the shower? Um, I'll have to say Sean Scannell. Yeah. <laughs> who gets the most girls? <laughs> I'll say me again, no, I'll check it. Um, I'll you know probably you say to. Sean Scannell as well. Okay. Um, who do you think's got the most swagger? The most swagger. Um, I'll give that to Kieran Cadogan. He always got shopping and stuff, so I give it to him. So do you think that? Yeah. Do you think that has to add up to being a footballer, like that whole side of life? Um, not really. I think that's just extras, really. Do you enjoy that part, though? Yeah, I enjoy that a lot. Yeah. <laughs> okay. On to a little, you know, a few other questions um, we've been asked. Nicki Minaj or 
Beyonce. Ooh, that's a tough beat. Um, I have to go with Nicki Minaj. She's doing the thing right by now, yeah. <laughs> Haven't had that one. Um, who would you rather kiss, Talisa or Kelly Rowland? Uh, Kelly Rowland, my far. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why that question is there, really. <laughs> Everyone says yeah. that. Um, Pacquiao or Mayweather? Who would I fight? Who do you think is better? Oh, who do you think is better? Uh, who do you rather get knocked out by? <laughs> Mayweather's better. Okay. Hopefully and we get to see that fight soon. Mm. And what about like the music you're listening to right now? Is it like American artists, UK? Who, who's like um, the number one on your iPod? It's a bit of both, really. But I, I do say America's more up there. You know, I like listening to Drake and... Stuff like Lil Wayne and, mm -hmm. uh, Who's your favourite artist? Um, probably Wiz Khalifa at the moment. Okay. What about your English artist? Is there like... I mean, I think England's doing quite well. Yeah, they're doing quite well. So, um, probably Tiny Temper. Cool. So, other than like football, is there anything you do like, on the side if you can get to? Um, my spare time. Uh, just... I like hang around my friends and stuff, and go see my family and family life. So, you know, I always get to visit my, my cousins and aunties and uncles and stuff. Oh, he's a nice footballer, not one of them arrogant ones. <laughs> All right, well, just let everyone know where they can get in contact with you or where to see your next few matches or where to come, come down and watch. And, yeah. Um, well, whenever you're free, you can always come down to watch us play at Crystal Palace. You know, we always there's always an atmosphere there, so we always play good football, and we're on the up at the moment now as well. So we're winning games, and we're looking to push on. And um, also, I'm looking to bring out uh, an app. An app really um, is for it's more for young kids, like in South London, London. And on the app, like it gives it gives kids tips on how to become footballers. So. Hopefully it will help, you know, in my time I didn't have that and, um, you know, hopefully now it would, would help some people. Have you got a Twitter? Some um, people said to me, how come he never tweets? Why doesn't he not do that? I haven't got a Twitter at the moment, oh. unfortunately. <laughs> He'll get back to you on that one. <laughs> Anyways, it was nice talking. I'm Sherelle, this is Sunday Show TV, at Sunday Show TV, and hopefully we'll see you at Sunday Show. Thank you.